Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we shall discuss about CORATS and CT CVRT scoring in COVID-19 patients. CORATS is COVID-19 reporting and data system. In this CORATS, one is having normal chest CT or other non-infectious abnormalities which don't raise any suspicion of COVID-19. CORATS 2 raises a low suspicion where the abnormalities are consistent with infections other than COVID-19. CORATS 3 is indeterminate or equivocal where the CT findings are unclear whether COVID-19 is present or not. CORATS 4 raises a high level of suspicion where abnormal are suspicious for COVID-19. CORATS 5 raises a very high level of suspicion where typical COVID-19 features are present. CORATS 6 is RT-PCR proven case of COVID-19. CT severity scoring is a method used to identify the severe forms of COVID-19. It provides an approach to rapidly identify patients who need hospitalization and further interventions like antiviral therapy, ICU mobilization and mechanical ventilation. CT severity scoring is used to quickly and objectively evaluate the severity of lung involvement. There are two methods to calculate CT CVRT scoring. One is low bar method, one is segmental region method. In low bar method, the scoring is given for each lobe based on the level of parenchymal involvement. In segmental region method, we give scoring to the segments based on the level of parenchymal involvement. This is CT CVRT score based on the low bar method in which score 1 is if less than 5% of the involvement of each lobe. A score of 2 is given to each lobe when there is 5 to 25% involvement and a score of maximum 5 per each lobe is given when there is more than 75% involvement involvement of the lung parenchyma in that lobe. So a score of 25 is possible in this method when there is more than 75% involvement of lung parenchyma in each lobe. How do you calculate CT CVRT scoring using the segmental method? We know right lung has 10 segments and left lung has 8 segments but for calculating CT CVRT score we consider left lung also has 10 segmental regions that is the apico posterior segment of left upper lobe is subdivided into apical and posterior segmental regions and anteromedial basal segment of left lower lobe is subdivided into to anterior and medial basal regions. So how the score is distributed? If there is no parenchymal opacification, then a score of 0 is given. If a segmental region has less than 50% involvement, then a score of 1 is given for that segmental region. If there is more than 50% involvement of the lung parenchyma in the segmental region, then a score of 2 is given. So based on this, we add up all the segmental regions in both lungs and when the total score is less than 20, it is said to be milder form. When the total score is more than 20, it is said to be a severe form. So a higher score of 40 is possible when all the 20 segmental regions have more than 50% of the involvement. You can go through this RSNA article. In our hospital, we are following this method and it is found to be more useful for us. These are bronchopulmonary segments, 10 on right side, 8 on left side. But in our CT CVRT scoring, we are considering 10 segmental regions on left side also. This is a sagittal reconstructed HRCT chest image showing areas of ground glassing in the anterior segmental region of right upper lobe, lateral basal posterior basal of right lower lobe, superior segment of right lower lobe, anterior segment of left upper lobe and apical segmental region of left upper lobe. So total of six segmental regions are involved which are less than 50% parenchymal involvement such as the CT CVRT scoring of 6 which is of a milder form. Just to revise the imaging findings in COVID-19, ground glass opacity is the most common imaging finding in HRCT, crazy paving pattern that is ground glass along with interlobular septal thickening, then vascular dilatation, subpleural bands, consolidation, traction bronchitis, interlobular septal thickening, et al. sign that is central ground glass opacity surrounded by denser consolidation. Well, this patient presented with fever and is a known case of ankylosing spondylitis. HRCT demonstrated at all sign or reverse hollow sign that is central ground glass opacity with peripheral consolidatory changes in the left upper lobe and we gave it as CORATS 3 which is indeterminate and finally RT PCR was negative in this case. This patient presented with chief complaint of sore throat and fever. HRCT demonstrates a focal area of ground glass opacity in the posterior basal segment of left lower lung and we raised a high level of suspicion for COVID-19. So it is CORATS 4. And later on it turned out to be RT-PCR positive case. This patient presented with chief complaints of fever and sore throat. Screening HRCT was done showing multiple peripheral subpleural ground glass opacities. With these imaging findings we raised a high level of suspicion and gave it as CORATS 5 which is eventually turned out to be RT-PCR positive case of COVID-19. This is another RT-PCR positive patient demonstrating ground glass opacities in the peripheral region. A total of 5 segmental regions showed ground glass opacities which are less than 50% involvement of parenchyma and thus a CT CVRT scoring of 5 is given for this case which is milder form. This is an RT-PCR proven case of COVID-19. 
showing areas of ground glass opacities distributed bilaterally involving almost all the segmental regions of both lungs and there are areas of consolidation also this is a severe case of covid 19 so it is corat 6 and ct severity index 38 out of 40. this is an rt pcr proven case of covid 19 where the patient presented with chief complaints of breathlessness fever and sore throat and HRCT demonstrates multiple peripherally arranged ground glass opacities in both lungs. This is the HRCT of the same patient taken after 5 days which clearly shows increase in the ground glass opacities and crazy paving pattern compared to the previous scan. The CT severity scoring earlier was 17 and in this scan it was 22 which shows increase in the severity of the disease. This is another case RT-PCR proven case of COVID-19 showing multiple ground glass opacities in the right lung and after 8 days follow up CT showed reduced ground glass opacities which were earlier present in the same region showing the response to the treatment and recovery. In summary further research and studies are required to determine the validation of CT CVRT scoring. Initial chest CT plays a very important role and by using the CORAD system we can raise the suspicion of COVID-19 in patients who have symptoms of COVID-19 and RT-PCR can be suggested for them though normal chest CT could not completely rule out COVID-19 infection. Lastly, the importance of CT CVRT scoring is we can use it in triage of patients and more preference can be given for patients who have severe forms. We can compare the CT CVRT scoring of initial and follow-up scans so that we can predict the worsening or improvement of the patient. This is a normal lung and this is a severe form of COVID-19. You can see the level of damage caused by this infection. So stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Hope this video was helpful to you.